Good morning. Let's say we just woke up. You take a deep breath in and exhale. And another breath, feeling how the breath coming down, expanding our lungs and exhale. And maybe allowing even the ribs to get off the bed and feeling the shoulders touching the bed and relaxing and coming into the bed. So as I'm inhaling and I'm arching, I'm feeling my lungs and I'm arching and I'm letting my shoulders almost leave the floor. Actually, they did leave the floor, but I'm mostly trying to lift my chest and inhale. Stretching all the way down in towards my belly, maybe even below my belly. And exhale. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Actually, I'm going to turn with my head the other way. So after we've done a few breaths, lengthening the spine with arching, now we're going to let the eye travel up and let the head move on the pillow or on the bed without a pillow. So the eyes are traveling up on the ceiling and behind, and we're allowing the head to move. And inhale and letting the chin come up and feel how it affects the neck and your upper chest. And notice if you're breathing or if you're holding your breath, try to keep on breathing, allowing the movement maybe to grow a little bit larger. Eyes are traveling and the head is moving on the surface you're laying on. Are you inhaling or exhaling? And are you each time moving a little bit higher and now you're getting to the same movement that we did earlier, but now you're doing it with the eyes and the head included. And rest. Move the arms a little bit higher towards shoulder height and start turning the head right and left. The eyes can be closed or open. Actually, let's do it with the eyes closed so you can track the eye movement. So you're not trying to do a big movement with the head, but you're trying to coordinate the eye movement and the head movement. So when you get to the right side, the eyes are at the same place as the head. And as you move, the eyes are moving up on the ceiling and towards the floor, towards the bed. Can you coordinate? So the eyes are moving smoothly in the head as the head is moving on the floor. When you get up towards the ceiling, 
keep the eyes stuck, even with their eyes closed, but keep them stuck up towards the ceiling as you keep on moving the head. So the eyes are fixated up on the ceiling. And now again, eyes and head together. Eyes and head. And each time that you get to a side, exhale and relax the whole body. Inhale coming up and exhale. See if you can slow it down. Full inhale coming up and full exhale coming down. And see if you, as you are lifting the head up towards the ceiling and now lowering down towards the floor, if you can let the I'm moving towards my right shoulder. If you can allow the right hip and the right foot to lean towards the right as well. And as you come up, the whole body is making a tiny, tiny, tiny little half a circle and dropping down towards the left. And up towards the ceiling. Of course, the head is making a much bigger movement than the hip. But see if you can correlate the hip and the nose. So the hip is at the top of the ceiling with the nose is up towards the ceiling and dropping down. And inhaling and exhaling. And inhaling and exhaling. And one more time on each side, lifting the hip. And dropping to the right and making an arcing movement towards the ceiling and down towards the left and come to the center of your hip and just check your hip from right to left Right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And from here, we're going to go into up and down and up and down. So towards the shoulders and down towards the feet. Moving the hip and allowing the legs to participate. And you can do it either fast and small or slow, depending on how it feels. And I'm going to slow down now, and I'm going to start making it really small, I mean really slow, and maybe a little bit bigger. Allowing the leg to lengthen, and the other one to shorten, and the other one to lengthen, and the other one to shorten. So when the right one is long, the left one is short. And of course, I feel it in my hip. And I'm just kind of, I'm not forcing it, I'm just gliding it. And as I'm warming up and the muscles are starting to warm up, I feel my shoulders responding. 
One shoulder is coming down. And you're trying to get a full concert between the shoulders and the hip and relax it. And go ahead and start gliding your fingers on the floor. The right fingers are gliding on the floor, coming towards your body, finding your body, very passively moving along your body. At one point, feel which part of your hand is touching the body. Is it all fingers? Is it the side? When is it flipping? Can you be a real passive participant and the hand is passively as if somebody else is taking string and pulling the hand up and over as you're touching your own body, noticing the sensation until you get down to the floor. And then you take the left fingers, you're turning them over, you're sliding them on the bed, up to the point that you find your own body, you're sliding them onto your thigh and in towards your belly, you're feeling the sensation of the skin or the material and how relaxed can you be how passive can you be and at what point in this journey on this side will the arm start flipping maybe the fingers will start flipping <coughs> maybe the leader will become <coughs> I'm sorry maybe the leader will be the elbow at this point and take your time, feel the heaviness. At one point, the arm will touch your face, your forehead, your hair, and you'll get to have both arms on the bed above you. And we're gonna start lengthening and shortening the legs once again, allowing the connection to the shoulders. Now we're seeing the results also in the lengthening and the shortening of the arms. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and rest. You can continue this as long as it feels good and then bend your knees and turn to the side. Lift the knees up and turn to the side. You can relax your arms and bend the knees and turn to the side. And bend the knees a little bit more and turn to the side. And turn. And if it feels good, you can even bring the legs up above your chest and turn creating a full rotation. If it feels good to stay there, stay there. 
if you like to stretch a little bit more you can bring the right leg over the left leg and get the knee closer to the floor and just rest. Allow the rotation and the stretch to happen in the lower back. If that's not enough, you can take your left hand and put it as weight over the right and just rest. And if you want a little bit more, bring your right arm up ah, towards your head and again just let it go as much as you can within the stretch. When you had enough, you fold yourself in, you come back towards the center of the body, you turn to the right side, You let go and if you choose to get a stronger stretch, you bring the left leg over the right, the right below. You deep exhale and let the gravity take, take over and if, if you want to wait, you put your right hand over the left. You don't push, you just let gravity and the weight you can arrange yourself to be a little bit flatter and if you choose you may bring your left arm a little bit higher I enjoy when I'm relaxing in this position also to hum and it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. And undo. Bring both knees, hug, and start rocking. Whatever rocking looks for you in bed, depending on the mattress, how soft it is. And then if you want, you can bring your head as well. And again, depending on conditions, you may even find yourself getting up. And thanks for watching and thanks for doing as much as you can. I'll see you next time.